Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of 20 of Survival, Season 5, Episode 21. And in today's episode, um, uh, we need to harvest the crops. We also need to... Wow. Okay, game. There we go. It was locked at 30 for some reason. Perhaps it's weird like that whenever it records, but whatever. Um, uh, so yeah, we need to harvest the crops, and we're gonna work on the mine shaft. So, um, uh, yeah. Let's get to it, I guess. We'll just start out by harvesting the... Oh dear, I hear skellies already. We'll start out by harvesting the crops, and then we actually have to work on the railway today. Um, actually, no, we should do the railway first, since my inventory is full. Um, we should go ahead and do that already. I did some off-screen configuring, and I also... I told you all that off-camera I would build the mob farm room because the obsidian stuff looked ugly so off camera I came up with the design and I guess I'll show you the room in just a second once we get down here <laughs> um this of course you can see the design we're going with here the glowstone's not going to be used the birch isn't going to be used so that's the design here and this looks almost like it is wow right here Block light seven. Okay, so I used this to calculate on the distance. So <laughs> we can just tear this up. This isn't part of the design or anything. I just used this so that we could know the how long this thing is. I'm also changed it, of course. I made it too wide, and I used the one. I used the. Uh, what do you call it? But yeah, this is the design. Um. Uh, it's got lava in the walls. I put water in between, in behind this chest. I plan on doing it for this one and all behind all of these, but for now, I didn't have any water, so that's what it is for now. I like the floor design, it's kind of this, yeah, and the roof's kind of like that. Um, yeah, it's got plenty of storage, of course, and and it's, this thing works like a charm too. So yeah, I'm uh. Uh, I guess I can show you all the wiring to this. I never showed you all. So, um, uh, you push this button to start it, of course, right? So you push this button. It, um, uh, sets fire using, using the dispenser to this nether rack. And it burns, it burns, you know, the repeater's going. There's 17 repeat. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> I washed out the stupid repeaters. So now I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need 5 repeaters. Tanner! <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, good job, me! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so let's fix this real quick. Oh, um, it's dark. Let's just put some close down there. Um, I guess I probably should have been paying attention more. Whoops. Okay, I can just hide one underneath here. Okay, so, five repeaters? I don't even have any stone. Alright, well, sorry, mob farm. I'm gonna have to fix you later. But other than that, it's fully functional, I swear. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, uh, let's get to work on this design. Um, uh, let me go into the other world and show you the show you the design itself so it's it's this it's this is kind of stairs and then it's lava and then this is redstone lamp with power rails okay so now that we got that of course we aren't we aren't going to have the um uh we won't have the actual um what do you call it the lava will not be placed this episode because I'll have to do that off camera. That's going to be a ton of, a ton of work, I'm telling you. Okay, so the first thing we should probably do is widen this one more. So I'm, uh, I'll do that and then I'll catch back up to you all time lapse.
Alrighty guys, so now that we have this dug out, let's go back to the beginning and we will start building, I guess. So, let's do this. Uh, and we should move this back one more. Ah, oh, dang it, dug too much. Okay, so we should probably hurry up too because it's going to be a lot work to do. And then redstone lamp. Do that. Okay, well we should probably start out by placing down slabs. So, I'm, uh, while we're on the topic of this, I mean, we're not even on a topic, I wasn't even conversating with you all. But yeah, I like, might as well start a topic 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, the fan Thursday thing is not going to work out. And that is because, I mean, you all have schedules, I have schedules. 6, 7. Do that. We better be getting close. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a tornado. Probably check this out. Anyways, Fan Thursday is not going to work out. And that is because of the, the fact that uh, you all have schedules and I have schedules and they conflict with each other. We have to do what is right for each other. And, I mean, honestly, I, the way my schedule is, I have to record early in the morning. And you all are on summer break. You don't want to get up early in the morning. I understand that. So, um, I might do server tours every now and then, but... For the most part, a series on the server is not going to work out because this is a... We've had two Thursdays in a row now where I haven't had a video up on it. So it's going to be replaced with Metro 2033, which is a post-apocalyptic game. It's got great graphics. My uh, PC can handle it. And where is this thing? Is it heading towards the house? Oh, shoot. That's an F1. I thought it was, like, right on top of the house for a minute. I was like, um... <laughs> Problem, guys. F1. Let's just take this. Let's go storm chase. Woo! Storm chasers! Crap. Do that. I can hear it. Which way is it heading? Is it getting closer to us? It's an F2. That's moving towards us. Dogs! Basement! Basement! <laughs> hey, hey, buddies. Um, why don't I own you anymore? Okay, basement, basement. That's an F2 heading right for us. Go, Chase! Well, that did a lot of help, didn't it? Oh, you son of a biscuit. Chase, you're gonna get me killed. And I'm the most important one next to Lucy here, so... You get me killed and we're gonna have a problem. Alright, well that's the best I can do for us. Oh, it went around us, thank God! It's gonna nail the barn, but it went around us. I mean, I kind of panicked there. I mean, whoa, that's weird. I mean, I didn't know if, um, uh, I wasn't exactly sure on the path of it. I just saw that it was getting somewhat closer, so I was like, um. 
So, you know, I panicked there. I was just like, in the basement. Wow. Oh, God. Too close. Do we have any crop damage? Do we need to make an insurance claim? <laughs> I'm glad we got up here because our dogs could have died. Uh, the edge of it does look like, yeah, we had some crop damage, maybe. Right there. Possibly. Wow, it went right in between us and the village. Take a screenshot of that, man. That's a pretty good one right there. Is it an F1 now? Or like, I know it's weakening. It's gonna be in turn into an F1 soon. Wow, that was a close encounter of the day. <laughs> Man, I thought we were toast. I was like, F2? We ain't been hit by an F2, man. <laughs> Dude, I was like, oh, man. I was like, now we're going to have to rebuild. That's a huge setback. This thing's picking up speed. Oh, God, sheep. Sheep, no! There it goes. Wow. See, I knew it was picking up speed because it picked up. It almost hit that swamp bomb, man. I swear, I think it would have... It probably it might have been able to keep on holding on for a long, a little bit longer. All right, well, back to work. Oh man, I thought we were toast, but now it's all good now. Sirens are still going off, but I think we're good. I mean, I saw the funnel cloud right here, and I was like, um, that's kind of close. And then I got out, and I'm like, oh, dang, eh, it's decently close. And then I, it was like, wow, it almost looks like coming closer. And then I looked at radar, and I'm like, oh, God, it is coming closer. A close encounters of the day with Tanner. <laughs> oh, that, that, yeah, that's, that's bona fide tornado survival right there. <laughs> I was going to apologize for not having any tornadoes in this episode, but I'm, uh, oh, we had enough, that's for sure. That, that's enough for one episode. <laughs> Okay, so, um, back to work, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do that. Um, so yeah, I'm on Metro, the bundle pack or whatever. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It's, um, uh, it was on sale on Steam. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, um, uh, Total Biscuit said that it was definitely the deal of the day, so I'm sitting here thinking, oh well, yeah, I gotta buy it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, oh. Okay, so. Let's just finish this off right here. So, yeah, I bought the game, and I, like, went to the first, like, five minutes of the introduction or whatever, where you just do, like, simple things to learn the game. And, yeah, my computer handled it well. I couldn't do, like, tessellation or whatever. That I couldn't have that on, but other than that, I could play on ultra, ultra gra graphics, and... Um, it, it was a really good game. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed it. Well, I mean, what? I haven't played the game yet. Why did I say that? I mean, what I meant to say is it looked like a good game. <laughs> um, we should probably clear out our inventory again. Do that. Oh, no, we need that. Uh, so what's next? Oh, yeah. Of course we got to. Here, we should probably check in this other world first. <laughs> Play selected world. It's one, two. Dang it! I gotta dig this out more. All right, so um, uh, here comes another time lapse. I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot of editing towards this episode. Hopefully, if I remember. All right, so enjoy the time lapse. I gotta dig all this out.
Alrighty guys, so we're finishing up here, and um, I just want to continue to talk about the series a little bit. Um, uh, so, Metro 2033, um, I plan on uploading it on Thursdays and Saturdays. Like, schedule it to upload it, I'll record it all in one session, and then hopefully we'll have it all uploaded by the end of summer. I don't know how long the gameplay is, I didn't look into it much, I just saw that, wow, two games for ten bucks, and they're... Those games, those games have amazing graphics. I'm gonna purchase them. And I was like, I could do, I could replace Fan Thursdays with this since I needed a replacement anyways. Wow. And then, of course, there we are. I'm playing, <laughs> I'll probably be uploading Metro 2033. <laughs> so, um, hopefully it's a good game. I'm kind of hoping it is. Uh,. They say it's got a decent storyline and that the graphics are pretty... The graphics were amazing. Um, I haven't played a game with good graphics in a while. I played GTA 5 a little bit. But um, uh, other than that game... I haven't... I haven't been... I mean, there's not really any good games that I've been able to play lately. I mean, I don't know. I just don't have that many. Like with a storyline or a campaign or anything. Tried to do the GTA 5 campaign, but man, that thing is just ugly. There's a bunch of bad stuff in that. That's that's not going on YouTube, man. <laughs> Channel will get like taken down. <laughs> okay, so um, wow, oh, we're gonna need more stone slabs. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. And of course, we have to place stone slabs on all of these redstone lamps. So. Right here, we'll make an exception. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Whoa. We'll make an exception right here, too. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And the closest crafting table is probably around here. Yeah. It's definitely going to be around here. Don't burn. Bad. <laughs> God, I'm gonna burn down my stupid stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess right here, make an exception. Right here, right here. Man, that was really bad on my placing. And this silk touch pick is almost broken too, and I'm gonna cry whenever this thing breaks. <laughs> okay, so, um, then it's kind of like, what was it? Uh, oh, dang it. Uh, let's go back. We'll start on it over here. We're going to need stone slabs, of course. It was kind of like... Well, this one's going to be different, but you get the point. Well, I know that this entire thing. Yeah, this entire thing is like this. Oh, we should probably double check just real quick. It's going to be a long episode if I'm not good at editing. No, nope, it's supposed to be like that. Okay. So we should probably make some more stone slabs because we're obviously going to need a lot of them again. Uh... That'll be good enough right there, hopefully. Uh, then we'll have to place them on the way back. Let's get rid of these torches. We got redstone lamps now. We don't need the torches. Ah, shoot. And of course do that, because this stupid drop-off area is going to make things challenging on me. Okay, yep, just keep going. Ugh. So yeah, hopefully you all will enjoy the Metro series. I mean, just check it out. I mean, heck, you might even like the game yourself and buy it. Uh, just give it the series a chance. I know you all, being just tornado survival driven, probably won't like it. And for the most part, I have a kid driven audience. I mean, that's what attracted most of the tornado survival people. But there are some mature people on this channel. And by mature, I mean like a teenager or older. Not like, I don't mean like, you have to be like 40 to be mature. No, I mean like teenagers or older. Yeah, I mean there's probably some 40 people, 40 year old people watching. But 
I'm just trying to, I don't know, uh, yeah, this is supposed to happen, uh, yep, do that, um, this design is really turning out well, but yeah, it's, um, uh, it's a post-apocalyptic game, I haven't read much into it, I know it's got mutants, which is, you know, mutants, cool, <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, pl I'm gonna play it on the hardcore mode, <laughs> I'll probably get killed, um, <laughs> It's got, like, less ammo, so you have to, like, use your re resources. Resources? Use the resources wisely, and... <laughs> you have to use your resources wisely, and collect, you know, all the ammo you see, and all that, so that you don't be, like... You don't just go through the door spraying and praying, like, ah! No, you gotta be, like, alright, well, take out that guy, and then we can use our ammo, hopefully, on this other one here, and, <laughs> like, you gotta strategize, you can't just spray and pray, walk in, gun to blazing, shoot up the whole place, no, it doesn't work like that, <laughs> which, you know, I kinda like that aspect of it, dang it, oh, this seems to be the best way to place this, yeah, that'll work, dang it, so, um, I might just have to finish this off camera because this is going to take a long time. You all get the general idea of it. What the fudge? Place that wrong. <laughs> Confused me for a minute. I was like, um, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> you don't know how long well that's going to look. Having lava right there, but whatever. We'll just wing it. Dang it. Keep placing this wrong. Hopefully this thing is gonna turn out well. Like I said, I'll place the lava off. Well, we screwed up somehow. No, you didn't screw up, right? Because it's that and then... Yeah, okay. It's all good. I mean, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. I mean, I'm not the best builder in the world over here. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised I was able to do that good on the mob farm itself. Um, I built a decent farm on the server. Like, I built a automatic wheat farm. In it. I think it looks pretty cool. It's also automatic sugar cane farm. Well, I mean, you had to press a button on this one, but it's not no etho timer thing. Chopped down to full potential and blah, 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 kind of stuff. It's... I mean, it's pretty cool, though. Um. Let's see. So now we gotta do the stairs. Just place. Place. Like I said, a lot of this is gonna be time-lapse, so that I can... Whoa, Jesus. Why is that short? <laughs> It's kind of weird, whatever. Get rid of the torch. Well, there should be ammo. Uh, shouldn't there be another one right there? Whatever. Yeah, it's kind of weird, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think we still got more to place. Oh, uh, yeah. See, why is this like this? Yes. Whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna wing it. Hopefully this turns out okay in the end. See, because on this corner right here... Of course, this is right on the corner, right? This is two blocks away, whatever. We're just gonna wing it. Uh, let's just fill this in with stone. <laughs> I kinda like this design. I don't know how it's gonna look in the end, though. We gotta get the lava in there and the, and the, um, uh, and the actual iron bars in there before we can know how well this is going to look.
Alrighty, guys. So I'm uh, we're done. Well, not done. Close to done. We gotta put lava in there with the iron bars. But other than that, yeah, we're done. Um, uh, so yeah, it's all that I'm gonna do on camera for this because, man, did this take a lot of. This took a lot of time, didn't it? It's gonna be probably a longer episode, of course. At the same time, I'm not live streaming today, anyways, so I can give you uh, longer episodes on days like this. Um, uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, we had a very close encounter today, didn't we? <laughs> um, thankfully we lived. The dogs lived. Uh, we gotta we gotta do better on getting them into the basement, man. That didn't go so well. I'm just gonna do something else with that because that's terrible. <laughs> Um, yeah, we gotta get a better system for getting them in the basement. Jeffrey was already in the basement, thankfully, so... That made things a lot easier whenever the tornado hit. Maybe we should do, like, a tornado drill or something. Anyways, guys, so, I'm um, uh... Yeah, close encounter. Yeah, see that on the mini-map? The grass is recovering slowly. Um, uh... But that's gonna do it for this episode of Tornado Survival, Season 5, Episode 21. And, um, uh... And, um, uh... Yeah, we need to harvest the crops next episode, man start to wither if we don't harvest them. Um, so yeah, um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll finish the rail way off camera. And that's gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed and I guess I will see you all later. Uh oh. Bye!